Shepherd University's art department is hosting a mixed media exhibit by Maryland-based artist Caitlin Gill from November 9th through January 20th in the Phase II Gallery. The exhibition, titled Foul Play, explores the themes of patriarchy, the male gaze, and gender through portraits of birds, which reflect the artist's identity and her effort to unlearn these societal standards. The director of the Phase II Gallery, Evan Bogus, oversees the process of showcasing artists' work in the space from start to finish. Uh, I'm kind of a jack of all trades. I, uh, I track down and review uh, artists to submit um, work for the space. I um, do call for artists. Once the artists have been um, accepted into the programming, I pick up the art. Uh, oftentimes I install the art. I work with the artist to make sure that the space uh, does what they need it to do. Um, when the installation is done, I break the show down and I clean up the space and prepare for the next round. I'm also in charge of promoting events and making sure that the artists that we bring in to the gallery also have something to offer in terms of what's being taught in our studio and lecture courses at the department. Like any good artwork, it's layered. And so there are things about the work or layers about the work that I appreciate. I'm a painter, so I'm drawn to color and uh, form. And within her work, there's a level of intricacy to both the detail and the color that I find interesting. Her approach to composition and subject matter is also pretty profound. And um, the way that she incorporates that into her concept is also uh, pretty outstanding. If you want to find out more, uh, the Phase 2 Gallery has a Facebook page that we try to keep up to date with. Same thing with Instagram. Um, and also on the Shepherd University uh, Department of Contemporary Art and Theater website, we also have information where you can find uh, anything that you need to know about the gallery. Uh, you can also contact me directly at ebogges, e-b-o-g-g-e-s-s, at shepherd.edu. This Thursday, the gallery held the opening reception for the new exhibit, where students and members of the public toured the space and got a chance to meet the artist. I'm Caitlin and I'm an interdisciplinary artist. I've been exhibiting pretty healthily the past three, four years, and um, I'm actually friends and have worked closely with David Modler, who's a professor here, and he had encouraged me to apply, um, so I did. Um, I love a good pun and a lot of my work has to do with birds. So I thought it was a fun play on words and a lot of this work centers around cockfighting um, or in the case of the turkeys, turkey mating rituals, which are a little violent. So um, I thought this was a good opportunity to use that dad joke. Um, so I do a lot of different media. It can range from anything from collage work uh, with feathers and cut paper, uh, pressed flowers or I do use like a 3D pen, acrylic paint, watercolor paint, um, wood, various stamping methods. I also use a lot of pen and inking. Um, and in the case of the matriarchy piece, uh, some wax as well and caustic work. A lot of this work is about the patriarchy and performing gender within the patriarchy and the inherent violence um, that that brings. So. I use the birds as a way to be literal in the interpretation of the conflict or tension there. And then the pressed flowers and um, other collage media to juxtapose kind of femininity into the work. I would say the collage works take, I couldn't even track it, maybe 30 hours a piece, yeah. Um, it's just a lot of cut paper, so that takes the most time. Assembling them isn't as labor intensive. Um, I have a website. I also have an Instagram account. Um, I haven't bought my URL yet, so I couldn't plug it for you at this moment. But my Instagram is Cicady Lynn. Um, and yeah, I also have an MSAC profile, which is a Maryland State Arts Council profile. Um, we have a directory for the state of Maryland artists. Well, I'm also the exhibitions manager at Maryland Art Place, which is a contemporary art gallery in Baltimore. So I'm around. <laughs> I hope people come out and check it out. I think it's a, a fun show. So I, it was fun making the work. Yeah, and I'm happy to be here. So these works were all from reference photos of cockfighting that I sourced just off the internet. Um, 
this one I liked because it was kind of, you get a more intimate portrait of them. Um, I think eyes are really important in my work because they feel really raw and vulnerable even though these are supposed to be moments of essentially aggression and violence. Um, so this one's actually my favorite. It was the last one I did out of the series. I think it finally gelled for me. Like it's something that I've been uh, brainstorming about but hadn't like put into practice yet. So uh, the first two were this one and the one over here and then this was the last of the series and I'll continue to make them but I think this is where they finally, it finally felt like it was starting to make sense. The, the work was starting to come together and I felt that I wasn't, I had, I had found a healthy balance between the collage and the painting. And um, that's where I feel it's the most successful is in this piece specifically. Um, so I love turkeys. <laughs> I had a pet turkey growing up uh, named Brandon, who actually, plot twist, turned out to be a female. But um, I just like the texture of turkeys. I think they have like a lot of different kind of skin textures and wrinkles, um, which is always really interesting for me as a painter. I think everybody finds kind of these weird nuanced things that they enjoy painting, um, but that's one of the things that I really enjoy about turkeys specifically. And when two male toms, which is what a male turkey is called, are uh, fighting, they will literally eat each other's faces, which I found interesting. Um, and so that's what this is. It's actually from a reference photo of this practice in the wild and in domestic turkeys as well. Um, so yeah, I think that too, I just really enjoy color, something that I've been exploring more in my work. I used to be pretty monochromatic. And so I think turkeys are also a really easy way to kind of bring that uh, color, that, that interesting color into my work um, in, a, in a really natural way, because this is exactly what they look like uh, with some obvious like distortment and embellishment, but yeah. Caitlin Gill's Foul Play exhibit is just one example of the many art installations featured at the Phase 2 Gallery. Other visiting artists and student works of all mediums are shown throughout the year in an effort to build a connection between the Shepherdstown community and the contemporary art world, something that the art department strives to maintain through its cross-disciplinary approach. Well, we have driven professionals teaching the classes. Um, the people who are instructing are active and practicing artists um, and art educators. We, uh, we encourage an interdisciplinary approach, which means you might be a painter, but you might also be required or asked to uh, collaborate with sculptors or photographers. And so we, we encourage that cross-disciplinary approach to art making because we see that as the way forward in the art world. Reporting for The Picket, I'm Ethan Baker.